Alright, hey guys, welcome to Season 2 of Chris's Minecraft Adventure. I've decided that in addition to my Wild West Let's Play, which is a lot of fun, I'm going to be running Chris's Minecraft Adventure Season 2, since that's what a lot of you are subscribed for, and the West thing isn't getting many views. I'm going to keep up the West thing because it's fun, and see if you guys like this more. Uh, so, what you probably want to know is what mods I'm using this season. Yes, this is another hand-picked mod pack of mine. I used multi-MC to throw it together. Uh, if you don't have multi-MC and you like mods, you should definitely get that. It's the easiest way to put together your own mod pack. I could try to help you a little bit, but meh. So we got, uh, you know, the basic mods in here for just doing stuff. And then we got the mini-map. Standard. Archimedes Ships. It's a boats mod where you can make uh, boats and kind of airships. The boats float kind of realistically which is cool. Um, airships, you need to have a lot of floating sails to actually fly, so it's not very overpowered, and the flying mechanics are more realistic, so this is kind of like an upgrade to the Zeppelin mod. It's going to be technically harder to move around really quickly with it, um, but it won't get me killed by dropping me out of the sky, hopefully, and it will encourage realistic travel. So that's Archimedes Ships. We got Ancient Warfare, which is just ridiculously cool. It's gotten a lot better over the time. Um, it, you've got all these really well-modeled siege engines and stuff. Uh, there's some generating terrain to attack. Apparently stuff with creating towns and people and, uh, yeah, worker NPCs and vehicles. All kinds of cool stuff. I don't even know how to use that yet, but I'm going to figure out how to use it as soon as possible. Uh, I just don't need it for this first episode, which will just be about settling down. Uh, we got Bibliocraft there, which just adds all these really cool shelves and stuff to the game. It's a really great way to build a base. Like, you can have armor stands and tool racks. It's one of my favorite mods, actually. It's just so good looking. Biomes aplenty! Adds lots of biomes. It's going to be awesome. Uh, like last season, this one is going to be a mix of exploration and base building because, well, with things like Bibliocraft, I'm going to want to make a freaking awesome base, and we're going to have plenty of biomes to explore and things to do, and you'll see some other mods for things to do in a bit. Uh, so, Mo Creatures, just freaking awesome. Everyone loves Mo Creatures. I don't need to really say anything about that. Eternal Frost. This one is like, an in, they call it the inverse of the nether. It's a new dimension, it's icy, and you can go there and have adventures. It apparently has some generation in it, I don't really know about it, but I installed it and we will adventure there. We got the goblins mod where there are goblin villages to raid, invasion mod so I can call an invasion on myself and that will go really cool with the ancient warfare mod because I can have like siege engines mowing them down Minecraft comes alive I think that was everyone's favorite last year just based on where I got the views and likes and stuff it was Minecraft comes alive so that's back and Mistcraft everyone loves Mistcraft I don't know how to use it but I will figure it out by the time I need to so without further ado let's make our world And we need to go over here. Biomes are plenty. And we're not going to do a seed because I want you guys to know that I don't know what I'm getting into. It's always exciting generating a new world, especially with extra biomes. Have no idea what we can get. Alright, so here's the Minecraft Comes Live setup. Mail, Chris. Yep. Alright. So things are generating around me. If you look over my hunger bar there, that's a hypothermia bar. Uh, that applies to the eternal frost realm. If you let that get too low, something bad happens. You can just fix it by standing near blue fire, apparently. So that's what that is. And this is where we are. We're in this nice standardish forest place next to this ridiculous looking flower biome. <laughs> And we got some kind of swamp over here, which might have a building or two in it. 
And uh, what you'll notice with the mo creatures is a lot of them are much better looking than last time I had them. Like, that's a bear over there. It's no longer just a box with feet. I mean, they were awesome before, don't get me wrong, but now, now everything is a lot uh, more detailed. So that looks like a witch's hut or something. But I don't think that's what that is. I think I see a goblin village on the map. Uh. So it's frozen. Why? Okay, well I'm back in and I'm being attacked by evil snakes. And my Fraps hotkey triggers frickin' chunk loaders or something. Oh no, no, no! Oh well. Okay, one sec, I need to get rid of these lines. Alright. So I'm back. After some setbacks, we've been brutally murdered by a snake that I didn't notice. And had a crash. I don't know if there's something generating over here that's crashing us, or if it was just bad luck, and will it happen again? Hopefully not, because... Oh, jeez. I really want to get this started. And I don't want to have to figure out why it's broken. Oh, a bug! Mo Creatures has insects now. I bet you can do cool stuff with those. Alright, so if there's actually a witch in the witch hut, I don't want anything to do with this, but... Okay, so many snakes, dude. What? These, I guess, hurt you. Yeah. So this is an interesting biome, and that's a goblin village over there. I don't want to really go over there, because they'll murder me. Ooh, jeez, this is a really hostile... It's deceptively peaceful. The truth is, you don't want to have anything to do with this kind of stuff. Alright, so where am I going to build my base? We're on the edge of several different biomes. I'm going to get over, like, right up near that flowery place. Might be a good source of sheep or something. As you can see, the horses look a lot better. Oh, that's another snake! God! Get away from me. That's a bear. Hey, bear. Don't kill me. Okay. So this flower biome. Let's investigate these gigantic flowers, shall we? I think that's a good thing to do. We could build like right or no, I don't want that to be near my base. <gasps> Village! Oh, awesome. Alright guys, so we're gonna go interact with some Minecraft Comes Alive dudes, and that's a goblin village over there. Is it? Yeah, probably. Can't really tell. So what happens if I break this? What is this? Giant flower stem. I bet that's a lot quicker to break with an axe. Actually, can you do anything with this? No. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here, just get basic wooden tools real quick, I think. Go see what's in that village. Got a water lily out of that. So, yeah, with these mods, there's just gonna be a lot of plants. Everywhere. I probably should have saved the punching trees, just explain the mods while punching trees, but this is going to be so awesome. I love the mods I have on here. Uh, I couldn't get better dungeons on here and working, but that's really okay because between the ancient warfare things that are going to generate and just the different biomes, uh, I think we're going to have plenty of adventure. Also, I've heard that um, this version of better dungeons is kind of buggy. And another thing is, with all these extra biomes out here, I don't know if it would actually generate any better dungeons. So, probably wouldn't get it. Oh, this is a different kind of tree. That's cool. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of different kinds of wood. And I think they even have different planks to go with them, uh, just because of these different biomes. Yeah. Oh, that's not a very good looking plank. 
We'll use those as sticks. And if you've seen like some of the things in the Ancient Warfare mod, it's it's well, first of all, it's a lot more complicated than I used to know it, or maybe not, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to go figure out how to use that because it can be used for so many different purposes. What is that? Is that a slug? Oh, that's so cute. Who bothers adding slugs to my... Wow, that's a large village over there. Can I zoom this? I want it zoomed out as possible so I can see things ahead of where I am. Alright, let's get over there. And this is mud. It actually does affect your move speed, so it's annoying. Some biomes actually have quicksand. Oh, fish. Cool. I need to... Oh, oh no, no, no! No crocodiles. If you remember my zoo episode, Swamp Rumble, just no. Oh, this is not good. Hello, villagers. You're all stuck in the mud. <laughs> They're all stuck in the mud. That's... They might actually just be glitching. They do that sometimes, yeah. Alright. So, they kind of built their village up a bit. I need to see if... They probably won't be in the ground like this if I were to log out and log back in. Do you guys have a furnace I could use? Oh, they're growing carrots. Excellent. So I might as well build my base somewhere around here. It's not going to be as beautiful, apparently, as in my last season. That was like the luckiest piece of world gen I've ever seen. Getting on that peninsula. Major nostalgia for that. So I'm just going to steal all their carrots for now. Early game food. Not going to avoid that. This is just kind of annoying that their village generated so like that. Alright, so we got some... I'm just going to keep that in there. I'll be back for that. I don't think these have anything in them ever. Yeah, no. You can get a nice view of the town. Oh! Oh, that's a cool looking biome. Sort of like right over there, I think. I don't know, is that like a swampy? I can't tell if that's meant to be like a swamp or not, because if it's not a... I don't want to settle in a swamp. Swamps are kind of gross. That's like my one requirement, not a swamp. A lot of goblin villages around. They are not friendly, so I actually have to make an effort to avoid them. What was that? Oh, is, are there just dead fish in the water? Is there something wrong with this water? Whoa, this is a cool costume. Who are you? Oh, you're the priest, and look, you can trade with them and get things like glowstone, because priests carry glowstone around. It's just a priestly... Where is the door? Oh, no. Swimming with mud is annoying. So eventually, I will befriend the people of this village. Knock, knock, knock. Penny. Ah, see what I did? Okay. Nobody's in there. Are those two, like, exactly the same? That's... That's gonna be confusing. Okay, I can't climb that. Let's go over to that other biome I saw. Yeah, straight ahead. Actually, let's see what else they got in here. It's not as easy to pick a place for a base when there's all this... All these other generations now. Let's see if I can lily pad parkour over. No, not quite. When I settle this town, I'm either gonna build like wooden walking bridges... Oh no! How's the sun setting already? By the way, this is hard difficulty. Because easy is for weenies. That's a Komodo dragon. That's a really nice sunset. Well guys, first sunset in season two. Not quite as great as last time, but I think it's pretty sick. 
Oh, what are these? Berries? Berries! Oh, yay! And there's a wintry biome over there, but right now I think the priority is get back to the town before death comes. I'll just sleep because they have a bed already there. I'm definitely going to build my own base, so I don't want to be that guy who just crashes with the NPCs. Can't sustain himself. Potatoes! Potatoes. Got plenty of food out here. That'll make it easier. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, I did investigate that. Wait, what? what is that? Horse, is that... What color is that? It's a strange looking horse. And it's coming after me. Fun fact about Komodo dragons, by the way, they'll apparently bite their prey and then follow it. Oh no, this is. These animals are too scary. Look at. Oh no! So you got like skeleton horses. I don't know if you're able to tame these to have like the awesomest horse ever. But I don't really. I can make a wooden sword. Give me a moment, buddy. I wonder if you can make like a shovel out of this. No, it probably doesn't do much of anything. Basic self-defense. Maybe hard difficulty with m updated mo creatures isn't a very good idea. Time will tell. Last time I died on my first night because I didn't want to make charcoal. Ah, uh, but I don't think it's worth sleeping. Oh, that's cool. Oh, right. Ogres. Gotta disable those. Because they will massacre the whole village. Let me go figure out... Well, okay, so it's not as easy this time. I can't find the... You've got... I mean, like... So I guess you can... I haven't been able to find the monsters tab, though. You got, like, creatures. But these are just the, the kinds that you don't mind having around. And water mobs... Don't really care about. Uh, but... And also, one thing that's kind of cool is you can, like, change the... You have villager. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know why I can't turn off ogres in this one. I th it's definitely a good idea to turn off ogres. If you didn't see the last season of my Let's Play, well, let's just say ogres really messed us up. Okay, so one of these houses did have... Is that a werewolf? Uh, okay, so these planks aren't very effective. Actually, you know what? Probably burn this. I don't know, actually. That would be awesome. So while I've been talking, there's like a ghost right over me. I might just want to like go mining or something, because I can't quite make it to that bed. I think it's in that house. Did I even see a bed? I don't know if I actually came across a bed. And there's that freaky zombie horse. Like what? What are those things? Ew. What? Cook. Wait, let's try this. Yes! Maybe I, I could potentially make a dash for it, but... You... There's like two werewolves over there? And I don't want the ogre to kill everyone is the problem. Alright. I think what I'll have to do is disable ogres in the config file. So I'll be back if I can disable them. Well. 
I think there are like a bunch of different keys corresponding with my Fraps key, but uh, so I disabled ogre spawning. That doesn't get rid of the ogre that's currently there anyway. So I need to figure out my plan. Dying wouldn't be too much of a disaster, but I'm actually really worried that he'll destroy the entire village. Alright, I'll make a run for it for now. Alright. So I can probably get over there. No, no, no. Let's think about this. Wait, what is that? Is that is that a diamond block with that golem there? Okay. So these guys are sleeping. I wonder if you can like wake them up and interact with them. Shake hand. Oh, hello. Just wake up and someone's shaking your hand. What is that sound? Oh, I think an animal just drowned in the mud. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's like nighttime and animals are after. Oh my god! No way! And fire. Oh! So, what I was saying about Komodo dragons earlier, I don't think I actually finished saying it, but they'll just bite their prey and then follow it around until it dies of the all the poison it can inflict. That's a fire scorpion, so staying in the water- oh, Jesus Christ. How about no? I bet I can make armor if I get enough of that. And that golem over there will just throw stuff at me. Wow. There's just like a terrifying monster everywhere you look. Alright, well I can use these planks. See how they look here, yeah, see? They kind of fit with a swampy theme. Is that a diamond block? Is it possible for me to get that? Oh, there's light. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's actually... I didn't explore the entire town. But, oh. Okay, so it's very important that that werewolf does not go near me. That's... Oh, no. He's... He's putting himself together. He's... This is... So bad. I'm probably about to die. Yeah, that's so that's actually like a full-size golem. How they work is they tempt you with their diamond block, but the fact is they'll suck up the surroundings and start throwing things at people. And the idea is the reward for killing him is I guess the diamond block core or something. So I should have just kept my distance. Might have been able to find a bed or something. You should follow me cuz you're about to die. Actually, why are you all angry looking? Or are you thinking? I don't know what those particles are. So he's just gonna stand there like, and... I think he hurt the werewolf that was there. It's just far too dangerous to go outside. Oh, see I went outside. What did I say? What did I say? It's too dangerous to go outside. So what do I do? I go outside. What's gonna happen now? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna freaking die. Oh, okay, that's not- OH, JESUS! No! Alright, let's get back over there. Oh, almost made it through. I just needed to stay inside. Why do I do stupid things? Okay, hopefully these things will start despawning. Please start despawning. It's hard to run away from mobs when there's mud everywhere. Rats are back. What the? Oh, jeez. Okay, that's a scary looking guy. That's a fire werewolf. Cool, cool. They definitely needed fire attacks to be effective. Oh no. Oh no, I'm just gonna die again. Get away. Oh well. Okay. So this village is cursed. We're gonna need to 
build defenses for it during the day. That's what I think. First objective will be get this village up and running so I can move around it without getting murdered. And then in the future we can raid these goblin villages because they luckily will spawn anywhere, apparently, or anywhere that they can actually have room. Luckily it's not like extra biomes will disable them, or biomes aplenty. I did not include extra biomes XL because you don't need that many, uh, like biomes aplenty and extra biomes. Biomes aplenty has always been a favorite of mine. Alright, so that golem attack kind of left this, that building kind of damaged. Uh, but I want to get my stuff back. Oh, yes, the other lovely thing is a lot of zombies and skeletons and stuff aren't even going to go away when it's daytime because they're in the water. Okay, if I stuff despawn, that's going to be really stupid. But I don't think it has had time to. Shouldn't have had time to. Where was I? Oh, there I am. See, look, there's a zombie just chilling here in the water. Not even burning. Alright, so I have my stuff back. And there's a Komodo dragon coming after me. Bugs! Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god, that's awesome. Who would have thought they could just put bugs in Minecraft? Alright. Let's stash some of this away. What is this? It doesn't specify what kind of hide that is. We got fish, we got bread. Should probably put on this helmet. So we got a little bit of building materials. I don't know what you can do with moss. There we go. Okay. Let's make a few tools, I guess. Just so I can... I think an axe would be good. What am I doing? I need a pickaxe. And then I can make stone stuff. Alright. So, yeah, this is like one of the worst biomes with mo creatures, because you can get crocodiles and apparently now Komodo dragons. That's not really cool. And it doesn't help that everything in this town is raised up too high. But as long as I can keep some of these people alive, we can have cool experiences with the Minecraft Comes Alive people. So I think the f uh, snakes, Komodo dragons, why? So cruel. What happens if I kill that? God. Komodo dragons are so stupid. And they stay alive during the day, too. Am I going to just dive that? No. Alright, actually, first objective, stone tools. Second objective, get rid of the stupid mud. He sounds like a snake. That's not okay. Oh, maybe there it is, a snake. Twitch mode, twitch mode. Oh, oh. Oh, hey guard, can you help me with the... Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat a carrot. Ow! No, oh, he's gonna get me with his poison! You can't die of poison. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this terrible village and establish myself in the friendlier biome over there. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you stay away from me. Stay away from me. So let's take all my stuff out of here. Let's just leave. I really don't want to put up with this swamp crap. Thought that last swamp. Oh, it's so cute! I sh I wonder if you can tame them. You probably can. Freaking mud. Looks like the goblins are. Wow, that's a lot of goblin villages. That's two. 
So the goblins are pretty solidly in control of this region. I'll have to fix that later. But look at this, this is a nice friendlier not in the swamp biome. Oh yeah. Doesn't that just look awesome? We keep in mind where the village is. Bleah. And we'll come back to that to do stuff with the Minecraft Comes Alive people later in this series. Ah, nature. They did a really good job. Oh, good, a different village. Awesome. Oh, and you know what that's near? That's near part of the Ancient Warfare mod. Castle. Okay, so this is where I'm going to live. Not in that swamp. I'm going to live near the castle. It's a hostile castle, so I'll have to clear it to actually go in it. But uh, We've got a nice hilly village over here where the doors are on ground level. And I can just come in and interact with the people. Borrow some of their stuff. Oh, thorns. Excellent. You need those. Every adventurer needs thorns. Hopefully this place won't get as badly sacked at night, but as you can see they've got cannons on the walls over there and a massive one of the cool things with ancient warfare is you can have like drawbridges. Who just attacked me? Who just did that? Oh, that's an archer. Okay. So you can, they don't really want me to go near their village. Ow. Ow. He's he's they're really after me. He's coming after me. And I'm not near my spawn, so let's kind of not die. Oh yeah, one thing, one of the mods is multi-mine, so you can do this. Okay. Gonna need to be stealthy about this. Oh, beautiful. This is just what this is all about. 